Welcome. We have been expecting you. <laughs> Hey, we're back again. This is the Rick and Dave Comic Book Hour. I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And uh, we're going to do some retro reviews for you. We got a couple of issues that we uh, that Rick bought and uh, we read. And uh, so, first one is Green Lantern number 67. Came out uh, March 1969, at least according to the little insert in the bottom of the page there. Um, this story is kind of interesting. It starts off with a guy named an ex-con named Bill Baggett, who uh, apparently fought Green Lantern in uh, previous issues and in the past, and they had some sort of battle over wills, and uh, he tried to take over uh, Green Lantern's ring. So during his time in jail, he practiced strengthening his willpower, so when he got out of jail, he can hone in on the Green Lantern's ring and, and use it for his own evil purposes. So he learned how to manipulate the ring and get it to steal stuff for him and also make counterfeit money. And uh, of course, uh, eventually, uh, how John oh, Green Lantern oh. figures out what's going on oh, and he defeats uh, Mr. Baggett and returns all the stolen money. So that's the synopsis of the story. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy well, it? Well, I did enjoy it. I mean, I saw it at the comic shop and it was on the wall and it was. I got 10% off, so it didn't really cost me that much, like $8, I think. But I guess one of the things I told you about that surprised me about the Green Lantern was that the ring was talking to him about the money. Describing, was it, was it describing the money. Yeah. And I never, you know, and, all, and I mean, I, I, I'm not real, I haven't read everything about DC or, or Green Lantern, so I kind of caught me by surprise that I didn't know the ring could actually give, give any kind of analysis like that. So that's what surprised me. It was also interesting to read the letters pages. It was like a few months after Gene Colan quit, I guess, and they're complaining about the new artist. <laughs> and, of course, rightfully, rightfully so. But it's still a good story. And, no, without the, you know, I guess the Gene Colan's art would make it look better. But still, it, it kind of makes me want to get the surrounding issues if it was in the price range that got me interested in the older Green Lantern because I, I haven't read much of the Golden Age or Silver Age, not Golden Age, the Silver Age gold, uh, Green Lantern, so it's always nice to read a, a Silver Age book because, you know, to let you know what stories used to be and how comics were done before they became 3 dollars and it had to become some, some kind of five-issue miniseries but it could still be done told in. And this is, that's the thing about this, this is a one-shot book. I mean, this is not a two-parter, which I could live with, but this is a one Parter, I mean, this is it. One story in one book. No, there's two stories in there. Well, the backup story with yeah, that. there's I, a back, some backup story with the, okay. the first well, Green okay. Lantern. So you got but, two stories for twelve cents. I'm just saying, this, yeah. the Green, the the, the Hal Jordan Green Lantern is one and done. Yeah. So I liked it, and you know, I did at the con today. I did look for some more. Not cases right after the con thing we just did, but I did look for some more, and I just I saw them there, but they weren't in good enough shape or. The price was too high, but I'll keep looking. There's more shows to come, but like I said, I liked it pretty much. All right. I forget who wrote it, though. Oh, I think it was... Uh, oh, I didn't write down who wrote it. Was it Giordano? Yeah. Or was it Gardner Fox? Yeah. But then the backup story can talked about the, supposed to be the first GL and how he battled with the, another race on his planet and the Guardians came and gave him a ring and... And uh, he used it to defeat the bad guys and uh, and went from there and became the first Green Lantern, at least according to that story. You know, that story's probably been... Yeah, in, Gardner uh, Fox did this did the story. He's Gardner done it a few times. Back. But uh, our next uh, issue that we read was uh, A Tale of Suspense, starring Iron Man and Captain America, number nine, number 97, came out, according to the thing, January 67. Uh, the first story is features Iron Man where we find him lying on the ground and his armor is running out of power and a shield agent is trying to help him. And then we switch scenes over to uh, Tony's cousin Morgan who has gambling troubles and he's brought before the Magi, Magi or however you pronounce that, crime boss to pay which he can't so they see what's going on on TV where Iron Man's laying on the ground and so he says well I'm as Tony Stark's cousin, I can go get Iron Man, so he does and brings him back and 
and uh, we had the issue with the whiplash uh, being brought in to try to take care of Iron Man. That story was written by Stan Lee and art by Gene Colan. Then we have a backup story of Captain America, and it starts off with him getting blown off the rooftop. And then we switch over to uh, Black Panther is also part of this story. And uh, he's investigating some stuff going on in his, in his land. And meanwhile, Captain America gets a ride home from the police. And he's sitting there in his apartment thinking about Agent 13. <laughs> we all know later him and Agent 13 hook up. And down the road. And, uh, and he hears his noise and goes up to the roof and sees what it is. And the Black Panther sends a, one of his flying ships to come and recruit him to help him figure out what's going on in Wakanda and uh, somehow it's tied into with what Captain America has been doing in the recent issues I guess. So that story was written by Stan Lee and art by Jack the King Kirby. But you tell me where you're going to get a book where you can get Gene Cole and, and, and Jack, Jack Kirby. Kirby and you know yeah. everybody you know and, and you've got to look at this this vehicle that he I know I shouldn't do it to kind of folks but I'm going to anyway. If you can see the, the you know, we the Kirby car that he drew for the Black Panther. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So how he comes up with that all the time is beyond us, but that's what the man did. Yeah. So also the book's in also pretty good shape too for the age and the pages are nice. Mm -hmm. And it's a good, you know, classic Iron Man villain, Whiplash. Yeah, which he really wasn't in it, in the story too much other than he was being real anxious and wanting to go beat somebody up and so they kind of the cliffhanger is at the end there whiplash going to come out and beat up iron man so we'll see if that actually happens or not so well, that's our 98. retro we'll have to get 98 yeah and uh so one of the our... things was i was kind of worrisome was when this shield agent was it still well or sit well or something remember? like that yeah Try to blow his helmet off. <laughs> yeah, he took some explosive. His helmet was like, of course, you know, his his helmet's, you know, it's it's magnetized. It can't come off, and he decided he's gonna blow the sucker off again. I don't know. You still have yeah. to feel that. I mean, no matter what. I mean, that plus that air of armor. But it was. That's a side. It was kind of funny that he just decided, well, I'm just gonna yeah. put some explosive. So explosive on Iron Man's face and see <laughs> if that helps. See if that takes. Yeah. Out. Well, it's comics, and anyway. I. But yeah, I mean, but still, funny. I know it's comics, but it's still it's, it's a funny. it's a fun read. And you don't get those fun reads anymore. That's right. So anyway, that's our retro review. Hope you enjoyed it. Go out and buy some uh, old Silver Age books and uh, see how comics were done 40 years ago or more. And remember to sniff them. That's right. You gotta smell that old comic book smell. Nothing like it. Well, there are some things, but we can't talk about that. <laughs> All right. Dude. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you very much, and we'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>